health is a very funny thing, the way it is understood today in the world. <laughs> there are very few health professionals, there are only medical professionals. People learn medicine, not health. Over fifteen thousand years ago, when Adiyogi appeared in the upper regions of Himalayas, when people sought him to know the way of life, the first thing that he taught them and the most fundamental thing which he taught them was what is today referred to as Bhuta Shuddhi. That means cleansing the five elements within the system. Bhuta Shuddhi, if practiced properly, leads to what we refer to as Bhuta Siddhi or a certain mastery over the five elements. This comes from the understanding, this comes from the basis that if you want to build a clean building, you just have to take care of the building material properly. If the building material is not pure, is not of good quality, the building that you build, the structure that you build is bound to be of an inferior quality. These are technologies for well-being because we never considered body as a… the whole of our life. We always saw body as something that we will discard at a certain moment our sense of well-being was not limited to the physicality of life. So the focus was always on the inner well-being which would naturally lead to the physical well-being of a human being. So I keep asking people, if you have any problem with your body, first of all to understand from where the body was made, if you as much as eat a banana, this banana goes inside and becomes a human being. So there is a certain level of intelligence and competence and capability here which is capable of making a, a human being out of a banana. That level of intelligence and competence exists here. So the very creation of this body happens from within. When this body is being created from inside, when we know that the very source of creation of this body is within us, if you have a repair job to be done, would you like to go to the manufacturer or to the local mechanic? Most people are choosing to go to the local mechanic. <clears throat> that is not because that is what they want to do that is because they have lot lost the access to the manufacturer. The infrastructure, both in physical terms and in human terms, necessary to bring this technology of inner well-being to the people has unfortunately been obliterated in the last two hundred to three hundred years of external rule in the country. Wherever you want to… wherever people, human habitations lived, there were places where medicine grew and people just had to access it. They didn't have to go to your shop and buy it, they didn't have to be treated by somebody because almost everybody knew what to do with themselves. What your grandmothers knew about their health and well-being and today the generation that is here, for every little thing they need a pill or an injection or whatever else, how it has changed in a matter of fifty years. This happened to me when I was about uh, twenty, twenty… twenty years of age. On a certain day, I was playing field hockey and I broke my ankle. I know what it means, I know what is a fractured bone because by then I had broken it many times. So I did not need a doctor to diagnose and tell me this bone is broken. When a bone is broken, I know it's broken. <clears throat> so my ankle was ballooning up and I limped to the side of the hockey field and just sat there. 
other boys were still continuing to play and uh, they were raising lot of dust. I sat there in extreme pain and my leg had swollen up that way. And this dust and this pain together, somehow I couldn't breathe, I was suffocating, I could not breathe for some time and uh, became like a… I was wheezing for breath, I was struggling to breathe, gasping for breath. I have been meditating and doing things till then, so suddenly this thought came to me, if the very source of creation is within me, why is it that I can't fix this little breath? Why is it that I can't si fix this broken bone? I sat there for about an hour and a quarter with my eyes closed and when I opened my eyes, my breath was perfectly okay and it's been perfectly okay since then. And above all, my broken leg was perfectly fine. The swelling had gone down and it was quite good. I was feeling a little pain in the muscle but my bone was perfectly all right. So I was really… couldn't believe it, I stood up and I did not know whether it would support me or not, but I was quite fine and I got onto my motorcycle and you know, you had to kick start with your left leg and which I did and I was fine. It is from that moment that I started really looking and this whole technologies for inner well-being, what we are offering today as inner engineering, essentially came from that experience that something as as physical, not like an ailment, as physical as a broken bone, actually in about an hour and a quarter it was fully fixed for me and it became perfectly all right for me. And uh, armed with this experience, I started experimenting with myself in so many ways and arrived at various things and today that is what we are propagating as uh, inner engineering process.